The Liebherr R954C has an operating weight of between 49 to 62 tons, depending on configuration. And this model of it is in the colours of Geiger, a German construction company. It comes in the standard Liebherr branded box with just a label at the end showing that it's the Geiger version. As usual, there is unfortunately no information about the real machine. But on opening the box, we can get to the model which is wrapped in the foam rubber that Conrad like to use for their models. My luck's not in because the models come out of the box upside down, but just like any skilled collector, I can put that right. The model's complete out of the box with no assembly to do. Looking underneath, the detail level is pretty simple, but the wide metal tracks are certainly strong. They're mounted on reasonable looking track frames with no working rollers, and the plastic drive sprocket looks okay. The cab's got a nice metal grab rail outside, but there are no mirrors, and the internal detail is fairly simple. The body's got some decent grills within the casting, and the graphics certainly look sharp. And although the colour scheme is unusual, the big Geiger graphics are distinctive. Looking down from above, the detail level on top is quite reasonable, and there are hydraulics leading to the boom foot. There are more hydraulic hoses across the boom and stick connection, and the plastic cylinder jackets of the hydraulics have a good colour match. At the end of the stick, the bucket is large, but it's well formed with good detail within the casting. Here we see the idiots in the Cranes Etc team trying to work out why the truck driver is refusing to move his load. It's time for the test track and the tracks are too stiff to roll on a smooth surface, but try them out on something rough and they work well. The tracks just need something to bite on and then they work fine. The next thing to try is a bit of swinging, and the mechanism is very smooth and it rotates very freely. Moving on to the digging functions and the range of movement is very good. It reaches out fine and you can pose the machine digging well below itself if it was working in a very deep trench or up on a bank. And you can pose the model any way you like because the cylinders on this one are very very stiff. So it's a good model to get yourself in shape with rather than buying all that exercise machine nonsense. It also folds up small so it makes a good transport load. Now it's time for a quick test loading a standard European tipper truck and it discharges fine although the giant hand remote controls are unusual. This is a typically strong and robust model by Conrad, and the casting's been around for a few years so it's not the most detailed, but the features work well and the Geiger colour scheme is rare and unusual. As a model for collectors of earth moving machines, it is recommended. Mm -hmm. 